do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in this video we are going to study about the instruction set of a085 in the instruction set all the instructions which are supported by the a085 microprocessor they are included so the instruction set of the a085 and combines have all the instructions of a085 and these instructions they are divided into five categories first is data transfer instructions then we have arithmetic instructions logical instructions branching instructions and machine control instructions so let us study all the instructions of the instruction set of 8085 the instructions they are divided into the five categories So these are the five categories in which the instructions of the 8085 are divided first is data transfer arithmetic logical branching and machine control instructions first we will start with data transfer instructions the instructions in this category they transfer the data from one location to another that is from source to destination the data is transferred but the content of the source it is not altered so we can say that it is a kind of copying operation that the contents of the source they are copied to the destination first instruction under this category is m o v this uh, instruction it copy the contents from the dest uh, source to the destination so here we have r d and r s this is the source register and this is r d is the destination register so the contents of the source register they are transferred to the destination register also we can have memory and the source register and we can have a destination register and a memory location so there can be three types of operands in this instruction in the first if we have move rd and rs then the contents of the source register they are copied to the destination register if we have m and rs then the contents of the source register are copied to the memory location the address of the memory location is specified by the hl pair register and if we have rd and m then the contents of the memory location are copied into the destination register so what this instruction is doing
so we can have these three operands rd was destination register rs is source register and m is the memory location so this instruction is copying the contents of the source register into the destination register the contents of the source register are not altered that is when suppose this is having a number 06 so this number will be copied to the destination register but source register will still hold its content it will be having 06 in it now if one of the operand it is a memory location like m and m here so its location is specified by the contents of the hl pair register how we are going to get the address of this memory location it will be specified in the hl pair register okay if we take examples then example of this uh, instructions are we have move a comma b so the contents of the b register they are copied into the accumulator also we can have move c comma m so the contents of the memory location which is given in the hl pair suppose it is given 8050 so this memory location will be having the data and that data will be copied into the c register so this is the first data transfer instruction next instruction is mvi rd comma data or it can be m comma data so this instruction is just copying the immediate data data is given in the instruction and this data is moved into the destination register or into the memory location again if the operand is memory then the address of this memory location is specified by the hl pair register so if one of the operand is memory its location is specified by the hl register pair if we take examples then example of this instruction are mvi b comma 57h or it can be mvi m comma 57h h is here denoting that this number it is in hexadecimal notation and uh, mvi is move immediate data so it is moving the data which is given in the instruction into the register b or to the memory location m the address of this memory location is specified by the hl pair register the hl pair register suppose it is having 8050 so at this memory location this number 57 will be copied so earlier was move the data move the contents of the register or memory to another register here we are moving the data to the register or memory third data transfer instruction is lda and the operand is a 16 bit address this is our opcode and this is our operand on which the operation has to be performed this instruction is load 
accumulator. What it is doing? So this instruction is loading the accumulator with the contents of this 16-bit address. The address is specified in the instruction itself. And the contents of the source, they are not altered. Suppose we have a 16-bit address 8050. And on this memory location, a number is being uh, saved. And this number is, we have as 24 so this number will be copied into the accumulator so here the accumulator is going to get the same number 24 but the contents of this memory location 8050 that is 24 it is not changed it will remain 24 so this instruction is loading the accumulator with the contents of the memory location if we take an example then we have LDA2034 or we have LDA any address, any memory, uh, the 16-bit address can be here. So X, Y, Z. So the contents of this memory location will be copied into the accumulator. Next instruction is LXI. This instruction is load register pair immediate. This I is for the immediate data and we have the operand as the register pair and the 16 bit data. So this instruction is loading the 16-bit data which is given in the instruction into the register pair which is also specified in the instruction. If we take an example, then example of this instruction is LXIH, 2034. Here in the instruction we have the register pair. This register pair is HL. In the 8085, we have the registers as B, C, D, E, H and L. These are the six registers present in the 8085. And these six registers form three register pair B with C, D with E and H with L. So these are the three registers pairs. Now here we have H written. So this is denoting the HL register pair. So in this HL register pair, we will have this 16 bit data 2034. So this uh, instruction is loading the register pair with the immediate data given in the instruction itself. Next instruction is L D A X B comma D register pair. What this instruction means? It is loading the accumulator indirectly.
so this instruction is loading the accumulator indirectly the contents of the register pair <coughs> it point to a memory location we have here the register pair b and d hl register pair is not used so b means bc register pair and d means de register pair so the contents of the register pair they point to a memory location suppose in bc we are using so bc register pair will be having a memory location in it suppose we have 2034 this memory location is being saved in the bc register pair so it points to a memory location this instruction will copy the content of that memory location into the accumulator now at this memory location 2034 a number is being stored suppose 40 number is stored there so this number will be copied into the accumulator so 40 get copied into the accumulator copies the contents of that memory location into the accumulator now one thing we have to note the contents of either the register pair the contents of register pair are the memory location and the contents of the memory location memory location is having 40 they both are not changed only the accumulator is having that number this number is being copied into the accumulator also so you can see that this this uh, these instructions they are just transferring the contents or copying the contents they are not uh, like uh, changing the contents uh, picking the content from here and uh, storing it at another place they are just copying or transferring the data so this was ldax that is loading the accumulator indirectly next instruction is lhld So this instruction is loading the H and L registers directly. HL is in the instruction itself. So you can remember that it is loading the H and L registers directly. And the operand is a 16-bit address. So this will be a memory location. So this instruction is copying the contents of the memory location which is pointed out by the 16 bit address into the register L and copies the content of the next memory location into the register H. Let's take an example. We have an example as LHLD2050. So this is the 16 bit address which is denoting the memory location. So at this memory location, suppose this is 2040, we are having a number 3E. Now this number, it will be copied into the register L and the contents of the next memory location. Next memory location is 2041 and suppose it is having 4F. So the contents of the next memory location are copied in re into register H. So if we have here the register pair HL, so L will have 3E and H will have 4F. So this 
instruction is loading the H and L registers directly. Directly because the address is given to us, just the contents of this memory location they are to be transferred or copied into the HL register pair. The contents of the source memory location that is 3E and 4F, they are not altered, they remain the same, they are just copied into the HL register pair. So this was the LHLD instruction. Next instruction is STA 16 bit address. This instruction is store accumulator direct. So this instruction is stored accumulator direct. So the contents of the accumulator they are copied into the memory location specified by the operand. Let's take an example. We have STA 4350H. This is a memory location 4350. So the contents of the accumulator, suppose accumulator is having 5A, this is a number. So this number will be copied into the memory location which is specified by the operand. So operand is specifying this memory location 4350. So on this memory location, this number 5A will get stored. So we are storing the accumulator at a memory location directly because the address of that memory location is given in the instruction itself. Now this instruction, it is a three byte instruction. When we are going to save this instruction into the memory of the microprocessor, then for STA, we will have a machine code. Then for 43, we will have one byte and for 50, we will have one byte. So one byte for this, one byte for 43 and one byte for 50 so this will be a three byte instruction now the second byte when we are going to store it then for STA suppose we have a machine code like 46 we have a machine code for STA then we are going to store this 50 first the lower order address will be stored so 46 then 50 and then the higher order address 43 will be stored. So in this way this instruction will be stored in the microprocessor memory. So uh, all the time remember that we have the second byte is specifying the lower order address and the third byte is specifying the higher order address. So this was the storing the accumulator directly STA instruction. The next instruction is STAX register pair. This is the opcode and this is our operand. This instruction is store the accumulator indirect
so this instruction it is storing the contents of the accumulator into the memory location which is specified by the operand here the operand is the register pair so the contents of the accumulator they are stored on the in the register pair the but the contents of the accumulator they are not altered if we take an example we have stax b so the contents of the accumulator they are copied into the memory location which is specified by the operand now this is our b register so it is showing the bc register pair now this bc register pair it is suppose having the memory location 2034 this is bc so the contents of the accumulator suppose uh, contents of accumulator are 20 so this con uh, content will be stored at the memory location which is specified by this register pair so on 2034 memory location this number 20 will be stored or copied so this instruction is storing the accumulator indirectly because the location at which the accumulator has to be stored the contents of the accumulator are to be copied they are not directly given in the instruction they are given in the register pair so it is an indirect addressing of the operand so it is storing the accumulator indirectly so this was sta x now next instruction is S H L D and then we have 16 bit address it means store the store the H and L registers directly. The address of the memory location is given to you, the 16-bit address. So this 16-bit address you have to store in the HL pair register. So the contents of the register L are stored into the memory location specified by the 16-bit address and the contents of the H register they are stored in the memory location just after this. So this instruction is storing the HNL registers directly. That is the contents of the HNL registers. They are directly stored at this 16-bit address. So the contents of the register L, they are stored at the memory location which is specified by this address and the contents of the register H are stored in the next memory location. If we take an example, then we have SHLD. 2470 so 2470 it is a memory location this is 2470 and we have hnl register pair now this register pair is having a number in it we suppose we have 30 and 20 so the L register it is having 20 so 20 will be stored at this memory location and at next memory location 2471 the H register pair is being stored. So it is saying that the contents of register L are stored in the memory location which is specified by this 16 bit address 
that is 2470 and the contents of register H are stored in the next memory location that is 2471. But the contents of the HL register pair they are not altered. Now this uh, instruction when it is stored in the in the memory of the microprocessor so it will be a three byte instruction shld will have a machine code then we will store 70 and then 24 the lower order address will be stored first and then the higher order address will be stored so this will be a three byte instruction one byte for shld one byte for 70 and one byte for 24 So this instruction is storing the HL register pair directly. Directly because the address at which the contents are to be stored, it is given in the instruction itself. So it is a kind of direct memory addressing. Next instruction we have is XCHG, exchange. This instruction is having no operand in it. That is why I have written none here. And this is exchange H and L. With D and E. We have the registers pair HL, BC, DE. So it is involving HL and DE registers pair. So operand and operation both is given in the uh, instruction itself. So it is a kind of implicit addressing because the operand is already given into in the instruction that is exchange H and L register pair with the D and E register pair. So this instruction is just exchanging the contents of the register pair HL with the DE. If we take example, then in the example uh, in program, we just write the instruction XCHG. No operand has to be specified because it is given in the instruction itself. HL register pair, suppose it is having 8050 and DE register pair it is having 9050 so these contents they will be exchanged let's take here 9060 so we have hl register pair has 8050 and de has 9060 so the contents of d they are exchanged with h and h will come into d similarly the contents of l will come into e and the contents of e will go into l so when this instruction is executed the new contents of HL will be 90 and 60 and DE will be 80 and 50. So this instruction is exchanging the contents of HL with DE. Okay. Next instruction is SPHL and it is also having no operand. So what it is doing, it is copying H and L registers to the stack pointer. So the contents of this HL register pair, they are copied to the stack pointer. There is no operand. Operand is specified in the instruction itself, HL and the stack pointer. So 
what does this instruction does So this instruction loads the contents of the HNL register into the stack pointer register. Stack pointer register, it is a 16 bit register and it denotes the starting of the stack that from which memory location the stack is starting. So it is defining the beginning of the stack. Stack is an array of memory locations. So suppose in HL we have the memory address 2034 and this memory address will be load in the stack pointer. Stack pointer is 16 bit. So this address will be completely transferred into the stack pointer register 2034. The H register it is showing the higher order address and L register it is showing the lower order address. So we have the address as 2034 and at this address the stack pointer will be initialized. So the stack will start from this memory location. So if we, if we want to uh, execute this instruction then we will just write the example is SPHL because there is no operand operand is specified in the instruction so just write SPHL to execute this instruction next we have XTHL So this instruction XTHL it is also having no operand. This instruction exchange the contents of HL with the top of stack. So the operands are specified in the instruction itself that you have to exchange the contents of HL with the top of stack. Now the contents of the L register they are exchanged with the stack location pointed out by the contents of the stack pointer register. Stack pointer register it is showing the beginning of the stack. So in the stack pointer register if we are having 8050. So the contents of this memory location suppose at 8050 we have 30 stored. So this will be exchange with the contents of L register. HL register pair suppose it is having 2034. So this location stack pointer is initialized at 8050 and this memory location has 30 numbers stored. So this will be exchanged with the L register. So now at 8050 34 will come and in the L register we will have 30. Now at the next memory location SP plus 1 that is at 8051 if we have suppose 21 
then this 21 will be exchanged with the H register. So 20 will come here and 21 will go there. So we will have 21 here and this 20 will come at 8051. So the contents of the stack uh, with the top of the stack that is at which the beginning of the top uh, beginning of the stack that is the stack pointer register so their contents will be exchanged with the HL register pair. So it is having no operand specified in the instruction. We have in implicit addressing mode here because in the operand is specified in the instruction itself. So this was XTHL. Next instruction we have is push register pair so this instruction is push the register pair onto stack so this instruction is also related with the stack So this push register pair, this instruction, it is used when we are dealing with stack operation. So the contents of the register pair, they are copied onto the stack. The register pair is given in the instruction itself. So if we take an example, so example of this is push B or push D. We can have any of the register pair here. So the contents of the register pair, they are copied onto the stack. How they are copied? Suppose we have in BC register, we have uh, numbers stored there. Suppose 7F and 3E are stored in BC register pair. Then the stack pointer is decremented. Now in the stack pointer, stack pointer is showing us the beginning of the stack okay the location from which the stack is starting so here we have 8050 now the stack pointer is decremented so it will be decreased by one so we will have 80 ff here 8050 so it will be 804 sorry 8049 here so stack pointer is decremented and the contents of the higher order register. Now we have BC register pair, we have DE register pair and we have HL register pair. So higher order registers are H, B and D. So the contents of these higher order register pair are copied onto that location. At 8049, we will have the contents of the higher order register B that is 7F. Then the stack pointer is again decremented. So we will have here 8048. And the contents of the lower order register, they are copied to that location. So on C we have 3E. So 3E will be copied to 8048. So this is how this instruction push works. Push and then we have the register pair. It can be B, D or it can be HL register pair. So 
we, uh, the contents of the stack pointer they will be decremented first the higher order register is copied and then the lower order register is copied there that is c e n l here b d and h will be copied and lower order we will have c e and l so this was the push uh, instruction then we have pop instruction So this instruction is also related to the stack operation. Here the operand is the register pair and it will pop off the stack to the register pair. So the contents of the stack they will now go to the register pair. So this instruction, it pop off the stack to the register pair. The contents of the memory location, which is pointed out by the stack pointer register, they are copied to the lower order register. Now suppose the stack pointer, it is initialized by the memory location 8050. So the contents of this memory location, suppose at 8050, we have the content 7E. So this content it will be copied to the lower order register which is specified here. Suppose we take an example that we have pop H. Okay. So we have the register pair HL. So this stack pointer is having the address 8050 and it is storing 7E. So 7E will be copied to the lower order register at L. If we have B here and D here then in C and E this content will be copied. Then the stack pointer is incremented by 1. So now the stack pointer will become 8051. Now the contents of that memory location. Now suppose at 8051 we have 5F. So this will be copied to the higher order register. Higher order will be if we have BC register pair then it will be B. If we have DE register pair then it will be D. And if we have HL then it will be H. So in H this 5F will be copied. Now the stack pointer it is again incremented by 1. So again the this stack pointer will be incremented and now it will be 8052. So after this pop instruction, the contents of the stack pointer, they will be incremented by first here, it will be incremented and then again it will be incremented. So two times the increment is done. So we have 8052 as the last content of the stack pointer. So this is how the pop instruction works it will copy the contents of the memory location which is stored in the stack pointer into the register pair next instruction is out
so this instruction out it has the operand as an 8 bit port address and this instruction it outputs the data from the accumulator to a port with 8 bit address so port address is given in the instruction itself and the accumulator contents they are sent to that port address So the contents of the accumulator, suppose in accumulator we have a number 4F. So this number will be copied into the input output port and the address of that input output port is specified by the operand. And operand it is given in the instruction. Suppose we take an example out 87. So 87 is the address of the port. So on this address, this content will be copied. So on 87, we will have 4F. So this is the out instruction. Next we have in instruction. So this instruction in it also has an operand which is an 8 bit port address. So this instruction inputs the data to the accumulator from a port with 8 bit address. So the contents of the port which is having this 8 bit address they are copied into the accumulator. So this is a kind of input that is why we have written IN and when the contents of accumulator are sent to the port then it will be a kind of output function. So we use the out function uh, instruction for that. So the contents of the input port which is designated by the 8 bit address which is the operand of the instruction they are read and loaded into the accumulator. So example is IN82 so it is the 8 bit port address and at 82 if a number is stored suppose 2A is stored at this memory look uh, at this port address so this will be copied into the accumulator and accumulator will get to a here okay so this was in instruction this was the last data transfer instruction so we have studied the data transfer instructions which are transferring the contents of either a register or a memory address port address or a stack into another register or memory location or into the accumulator. In these instructions you can notice that the contents of the source register or the source location they are not altered they remains the same. So it is a kind of copy the in contents from one location to another location. The next category of instruction is arithmetic instructions.